Om Shanti. This is the Sakar Merli of the 15th of June 2021. Essence. Sweet children, in order to experience supersensuous joy, constantly maintain the awareness of whose children you are. If you forget the father, your happiness will disappear. Question. Which children have the permanent happiness of having found the father? Answer. The children who forge all relationships with the father, those who make effort to stay in remembrance of the one father, and who don't remember any bodily beings, have permanent happiness. If there is remembrance of bodily beings, you will have to cry a great deal. Those who are to become the masters of the world never cry. Song Do not forget the days of your childhood. Om Shanti The father says, Sweet children, do not forget that you are the children of the unlimited father. If you forget this, you will make yourselves cry and your intellects will be drawn to the dirty world. By having remembrance of the father, you experience supersensuous joy. This happiness disappears if you forget the father. Always remember that you are Baba's children. Otherwise, you will make yourselves cry. All are the children of God. All say, O Baba, O Supreme Father, Supreme Soul, protect us. However, no one knows when you receive protection from the Father. None of the sages or holy men know when you receive liberation or liberation in life from the Father because they have said that God is in every particle. You children now know the unlimited Father. He is the most beloved father. There is no one as lovely as him. It is a great mistake not to know such a father. Why do people celebrate the birthday of Shiva? Who is he? No one knows this. The father says, You have become so senseless. Look at what Maya Ravan has made you. You children know that this is my birthplace. I come every five thousand years. They say that he will come after forty thousand years when the Iron Age comes to an end. The picture of the Trimurti is shown. They have also named a road, Trimurti Road, but no one knows the three images of Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar in the picture. What did Brahma do? What do Vishnu and Shankar do? Where do they reside? People don't know anything. They are in complete darkness. The Father is the Creator. This creation of His is so large. The play is unlimited and there is an unlimited number of human beings in it. When it was the Golden Age 5,000 years ago, when it was the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan in Bharat, there was no other kingdom. They say, Goddess Sri Lakshmi and God Sri Narayan. They even refer to Rama and Sita as God Rama and Goddess Sita. 
Where did God Narayan and Goddess Lakshmi come from? They ruled in the past, but not a single one knows their life story. They simply continue to sing that God is the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness. But how he is the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness doesn't sit in anyone's intellect. What happiness did he give everyone? When did he remove everyone's sorrow? They don't know anything. You children are now studying Raja Yoga here in order to become like Goddess Lakshmi and God Narayan. You also know that God Rama and Goddess Sita will also be created here. You will complete your eight births in the Golden Age and then go into the kingdom of Rama and Sita. You are establishing your unlimited kingdom for 21 births here. You gods and goddesses are becoming the masters of heaven. Heaven is not up in the sky. No one knows this. They have completely degraded intellects. They say, so and so went to heaven. However, they don't understand anything. Acha, will all the Christians and Buddhists go to heaven? They come later and establish their own religion. So how could they go to heaven? They don't even know what is referred to as heaven. Sannyasis say that they merge into the light. Some say that they go to the land of Nirvana, that there is a world in Nirvana. It is a place of residence. There is no question of a light merging into the light. If they were to merge into the light, Souls would be destroyed and the whole play would finish. No soul can be liberated from this drama. No one can attain eternal liberation. No one understands the meaning of the song, nor does anyone even understand the meaning of liberation in life. They don't understand the meaning of souls, or of the Supreme Soul either. The Father says, Your faces are those of human beings. They are the same as those of the deities. There were deities at the beginning of the Golden Age. Their kingdom lasted for 2,500 years. Then, in the remaining 2,500 years, all the other religions came. Instead of saying that the duration of the cycle is 5,000 years, they say that the duration of the Kalpa tree is hundreds of thousands of years, but they still won't come to understand what you explain. Only those who came and understood these things in the previous cycle will come again. First of all, explain that it is limited renunciation which the sannyasis adopt by leaving their homes and families and going into the jungles. At first they were Satopradhan. Now that they have become Tamopradan, they have come back from the jungles and have built huge palaces. Those sannyasis have definitely supported Bharat on the basis of their purity. They have served Bharat. If it weren't for the religion of renunciation, Bharat would have completely burnt away in vice and become completely impure. This drama is predestined. 
At first they had the power of purity with which they supported Barat. When it was the kingdom of deities, Barat was so wealthy. They had huge palaces studded with diamonds. Where did they all go? They all went down below. They say that Lanka and Dwarka sank beneath the sea. They don't exist now. There used to be palaces of gold. Since they were able to put diamonds in the temples, what would they not have had there? You children should have so much happiness. Baba has come once again. He says, remember the father. You only have to remember the one through whom your sins are absolved. But you forget this and remember bodily beings. There is no benefit in remembering bodily beings. The father says, constantly remember me alone. Don't remember bodily beings. Even if your mother dies, eat halva. Only by having remembrance of the one father is there an income earned. We are the children of Shiv Baba and we have to claim the inheritance from him. If you don't remember the father at this time, you will have to repent and cry a great deal. What need is there for those who are to become the masters of the world to cry? It is only when you forget the father that Maya slaps you. This is why Baba explains to you again and again. Remember the father and the inheritance. The Lord of Immortality would not have sat and told the story of immortality to poverty alone. There must definitely have been many there. The Father explains to all human beings, Now don't become impure. Become pure in this last birth. There are no vices in heaven. If there were vices in heaven too, then what is the difference between heaven and hell? People sing praise of the deities. You are full of all virtues, sixteen celestial degrees full. God comes and makes everyone into gods and goddesses. No one except God can make you that. There is only one God. The kingdom of gods and goddesses is remembered. There would be the same king, queen and subjects there, but they would not be called a god and goddess. That is called the original eternal deity religion. No one knows this. The father also explains to this soul, Brackets Brahma. There are two souls. One is the father and one is Dada. One soul takes 84 births and the other soul is beyond rebirth. The father never takes rebirth. He only comes once and teaches us Raja Yoga in order to make the whole world pure. The father explains to you, I enter this one. This one has experienced 84 births. This is now the last of his many births. I am incorporeal. So how do I come to teach you children Raja Yoga? Nothing can happen through inspiration. There cannot be versions of God Krishna. How could he come? He is the prince of the golden age, 16 celestial degrees full. 
Then, in the Silver Age, there are 14 celestial degrees. So, why then have they put Krishna in the Copper Age? He should come first. The Father explains. First remember the Father. Otherwise, Maya will slap you very hard. There is the touch-me-not plant that wilts when you touch it. Your condition also becomes the same. When you don't remember the father, everything finishes. You heard in the song, Do not forget the days of your childhood. If you forget the father, you will be hurt in one way or another. The father says, You are my children, are you not? Your bodies have been created with poison, and those are the physical parents of your bodies. That one is the incorporeal father, and this one is the spiritual, brackets, alokic father. This one is limited and has now become unlimited. Look, this worldly daughter, brackets, Daddy Nirmal Shanta, is also sitting here. There is the worldly one, the spiritual one, and the one from beyond. Shiv Baba doesn't have any brothers or sisters, neither worldly nor spiritual, or from beyond. There is so much difference. Belonging to the one father is not like going to your auntie's home. To forge all relationships with such a father takes time. It takes great effort to stay in remembrance of Shiv Baba. There are even such children who have been around for 50 years and yet they do not remember Shiv Baba throughout the whole day. It takes a lot of effort to forget everyone else and remember the one. Some remember Baba 1%, some remember him 2%, and some hardly remember him even half a percent. This is a very high destination. The father explains, Don't forget your childhood. You receive the inheritance of heaven from the Father. You know that you have died alive and have come to belong to the Father in order to go to the new world. Therefore, you should have permanent happiness. Oh, we will become double crowned. People don't know why those deities were said to be 16 celestial degrees and 14 celestial degrees in the golden age. They don't know anything at all. The scriptures of the path of devotion will be created again. Hatha yoga and pilgrimages will exist again, but what will happen through them? Will anyone go to heaven through them? No. People do many things with occult power. There are many with occult power. Thousands of people chase after them. They make watches and other things emerge with occult power. They don't understand that all of it is for a temporary period. A lot of effort has to be made for that. There are even books from which you can learn occult power. Hundreds of thousands of people chase after them. You children know that you receive the inheritance of heaven from Baba. Nothing you see with your eyes will remain. The father explains. You came bodiless and played your parts through bodies. If you were to be told the account of 8.4 million births, it would take 12 months. That's impossible. 
it is very easy to tell you the account of 84 births. You continue to go around the cycle of 84 births. When the Sun dynasty exists, the Moon dynasty doesn't exist. When the Sun dynasty comes to an end, the Moon dynasty comes into existence. You now know that you are the Brahmin clan and that you will then become the deity dynasty. This is why you are studying this study. Then, after coming down the ladder, you become Merchants and Shudras clan. You have now remembered your 84 births. You also have to remember this cycle. By remembering the father, you will become ever healthy and ever wealthy, and your sins will be cut away. By knowing the cycle, you become rulers of the globe. You know that this old world is going to become a graveyard. Nothing will remain. Everything will be finished. It is said, Rama went and Ravan went. The family of Rama in the Golden Age will be so small. The family of Ravan is now so big. You children know that the kingdom is being established. First, there has to be some effort made for everything. The father inspires you to make effort. Children, remember me. Will you not remember the Father from whom you receive the limitless sovereignty of heaven? The Father reminds you that you were the masters of heaven. Now make effort once more and become the masters of heaven. Acha To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, Love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bap Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. Don't become like a touch-me-not plant in any situation. Don't forget your godly childhood and wilt. See, but don't see whatever you see with your eyes. 2. Only by having remembrance of the one Father do you earn an income. Therefore, don't cry by remembering bodily beings. Remember the Father and the inheritance and claim the sovereignty of the world. Blessing, may you become full of all powers and finish your weak sanskars with the light and might of knowledge. With knowledge you become aware of your weak sanskars and when you receive the understanding of that, those sanskars then become suppressed for a short time. However, in order to finish weak sanskars, you need the extra force of the light and might of knowledge. For this, as well as being a master almighty authority and master knowledgeful, you also have to be a checking master. Use knowledge to fill yourself with power and thereby increase your churning power. You will then become full of power. Slogan Where there are all attainments, there is happiness. Om Shanti